am completely done with this car. It's time to blow this piece of shit up. I'm tired of it. I'm not dealing with it anymore. It's been nothing but a pain in the ass. It's time to blow this piece of shit up in three, two, one. Now, I know some of you are completely shocked. Your heart's in your stomach, you can't breathe. You just, you cannot believe that I just blew this car up. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. That was just a model car, it was not the real car. I know, our special effects here are just getting overwhelmingly good on the channel and we probably fooled a bunch of people hopefully everybody's still watching they didn't just slam their phone on the ground or you know close their laptop they're like oh okay it, it was just a toy but i'm gonna fool 99 percent of people because of how good that looked but here's the real story i am actually pissed off i have not driven this thing i haven't taken it for a real drive yet every time we've taken it out it's had issues it's just always done something the times it was running it was never running great and i've had about a week to stop and think and kind of go through stuff i got hundreds and hundreds of people sending me messages comments emails on stuff to try so i got some new parts the main thing a lot of people said was ground check your fuel pump i had like five guys tell me check your fuel filter in your tank even though it was a brand new tank guys said they've clogged up a fuel filter within the first mile of driving it just from like residue on the inside of the tank so i'm really curious to try that but i know we have a couple bad grounds we have a couple things wired up with a thinner gauge wire than we need so i'm gonna go through all that we're gonna do some heavier duty battery cables stuff like that i got new hubcaps because i've lost i'm down to two i had four i only have two now so i got new hubcaps a uh, new fuel pressure regulator we're currently using uh, the old Corvette style. I had a bunch of guys say, throw those in the trash. That's the way people did these LS swaps 20 years ago, but that's not the best way to do it now. So we got a lot of stuff to do. We're basically gonna redo all of our fuel lines as well, cause I got new fuel lines and shit. So I got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm sitting here just listing it all off. Let's get to work. First thing we need to do, uh, actually, I think I'm gonna do all the electrical stuff first, then we'll get it jacked up and we'll start looking at our fuel system and all of our fuel lines. Let's get to work. Also, fun fact, this is my actual shop. Most of the videos that I film are in my home garage, just because it's nice, you know, it's right next to the house. But the great thing about this shop, not only is it a lot bigger, I forgot it has central air. So right now, even though it's 95 outside, it's like 70 in here, feeling perfect. And I'm probably gonna have to start dragging more of my cars down here because I forgot how much I like that. <laughs> All right, back to work. have the tool to press on these lugs but I can't find it. So we're gonna use the old we're gonna get old school on them baby. I don't wanna do it. Bada bing. And naturally you have to say that ain't going nowhere. One down I got like eight more to go. So I don't love where any of these grounds are. We're just gonna make our own real quick. Straight to the frame. Oh shit. That's a good one. Oh, that's a real good one. Perfect. I gotta get some, oh shit. I gotta get some brake cleaner on this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this one the old fashioned way with starting fluid. This will wake you up in the morning. Ah! Ah! Oh, it feels good, baby, I'm alive. <laughs> My neighbor Caesar just came over to check on me. <laughs> he said, I heard you yelling, are you okay? <laughs> All right, back to work. Okay, battery cables are done. Check it out. Heavy duty ground. And then there is the bolt I welded down there that goes straight to the frame. So we got it grounded to the block, to the frame. I even put another ground here on this little support piece, even though I don't need to, but 
I know we got all of our grounds done. There was a couple more little ones that I did in the last video. I freshened up a couple of those. We're looking so much better now. I'm very, very happy. What we're going to do now, I know we're having fuel problems. So we're going to get it jacked up. We're going to mess with the fuel tank, see what the hell is going on in there. I'm going to take out the fuel pump, the whole system, and I want to see what we got going on. So let's do that. Okay, check this out. Our gas tank vent was wrong. It was still venting, so it's definitely not the cause of our problems, but it was wrong. I got that fixed. This is a big one. The tank straps were not on the right way, essentially, so they were too loose. So the tank was leaning backward. Well, your pickup is in the front. So it looks like the way it was, you needed two or three gallons to even get to the fuel pump pickup. So that was bad. I got that fixed. And now here is the bad news. All right, we're gonna get a little inside baseball here. I took out the sending unit and everything out of the tank last night. Some of you don't realize it, but I record with iPhones, a GoPro, and another camera. I actually have three iPhones, so I use them a lot. So last night, I took all the sending unit out, basically took everything apart, replaced a bunch of shit, and I cannot find that footage. It looks like my kid might have deleted it, and somehow he deleted it for good, because I can't even find it in the recycle bin. Here's why that's funny. I have lost two video clips in the last week. The last one was on the Monte Carlo build. We were outside putting up our paint booth, and I had a camera pointed at drywall for three hours straight. I had it aimed where I needed it perfect, and then we must have bumped it. So it's just pointing the wrong way for three hours straight. So I'm saying that to tell you with me losing this clip as well, I'm turning more into my dad every day and I'm not very happy about it. So since I don't have the video of me doing it, I'm gonna go ahead and explain what all I did. I popped this sending unit out of the tank, trying to figure out what's going on. If you haven't watched any of these videos, the car will basically run perfectly in park. As soon as you put it in drive, take it down the street, it loses all of its fuel pressure and it dies. It's not shooting any engine codes, so I don't know. We had a lot of grounds that weren't good. There was a million different odd things that could have been wrong, but we didn't know what it was. So I start digging into the fuel pump. We've tested the fuel pump independently. We know it's working. We know the return is working, but something's going on. So I take all that shit out last night. I'm looking at it. We did not have a strainer on the fuel pump. I do not know why Dan didn't put it on there. Uh, I'm not going to throw him under the bus completely because we're making videos. We're always in a rush. You know, shit happens. It's not that big of a deal, but even though that is a brand new tank, without a strainer on it, your strainer acts like a filter pickup. And without that strainer on it, even though there wasn't much shit in the tank, there was enough debris in the tank, it was clogging up 95% of the pickup tube. If it would have had a strainer on it, it would have been fine. That also makes sense why it would still work because it could get, you know, 5% of the fuel out. But whenever it was under a load, whenever it's trying to move, you know, a 4,000 pound car, it really needs to push it out harder and it can't if it was clogged up so much. So I do have a picture of that. I'm going to show you how bad it was. It was completely clogged. Got all that cleaned out and I've tested it. It looks like I'm holding 70 PSI, which is actually a little bit too much fuel pressure. It looks like I'm holding that perfectly. Still haven't taken it out for a drive yet because I'm just nervous to take it for a drive. There's a couple other things I wanna to fix today, but it looks like we had five or six little problems and then two or three big ones. Uh, the tank being angled backward was not great either. I am really hopeful now. I was not hopeful before. I'm really hopeful now. This is a really heavy duty fuel pressure regulator. I wanna get that in there and I need to reroute a couple of my fuel lines. So we're gonna do that, but I say all that. I know I've been rambling for three minutes straight. I say all that to say my hopes are back up in the clouds. For the longest time, I was just so bummed about this thing, <laughs> but it's looking good. I also put a different strainer on it, so it actually has a strainer on it now, and I put another, I think I put eight gallons of gas in it, so it has a shitload of gas now. It shouldn't have any issues, but I'm hopeful again. I'm gonna stop rambling and get back to work. There are so many more important things to do, but I fucking hated these, whoa, I got in the light. I fucking hated these 80s lift kit uh, leaf spring extenders. They were like down to here, these shackles, and they hung down and I hated them, so we cut those out. I just realized I could get a shorter one and drop it even more because my rear end is a little bit higher than my front. I could probably put the stock one in there and drop it another inch or two. 
Hmm, good to know. Oh, also, beautiful. I'm telling you, this is the worst 57 Bel Air on the planet, but I fucking love it. Changed out the fuel regulator, changed a couple lines. Unfortunately, I didn't have the right fittings to put in my new filter, but I'll get those ordered and get it coming. But the leaky line that I was worried about, I got fixed. I also tweaked a couple ways it goes back. And also, I made a little guard. Oh, can't see it, there we go. There's a guard. I don't know if you can see it, shit. There's a guard. Anyway, I made a little piece of sheet metal that keeps it between the exhaust and the fuel line, even though it's like, I don't know, six or eight inches away. I wanted to have a piece of metal there. The only thing I need to do now, I'm gonna, well, I don't wanna start it just yet. I think we're good. We should, I'm gonna double check it, but the only thing I wanna do, I wanna get my air filter on here and I need to cut this pipe. Then we'll fire it up, see where it is. If it's running good, we will do our final, our final first drive, hopefully our final one. <laughs> but let me get this popped off. Motherfucker. Woo! God, I hope it doesn't end badly. Oh, I would lie if I told you I wasn't a little nervous. so good. I'm so fucking happy. I started telling my wife about it. I almost started crying. <laughs> good news is even this was a joke but you can still restore it you can always fix it <laughs> i'm so fucking happy man <laughs> looks like it's about to rain we definitely gotta tighten this up this thing keeps falling it's annoying me the old Bronco. 
Oh, that's an old Jeep, actually. That was cool as shit. I'm so fucking happy. successful drive out of 10 first drives I am so fucking happy my grandpa had a 1957 Chevy two-door Bel Air hardtop when I was a kid and he bought parts cars for it because when he built it 30 years ago there was an eBay so he would buy every parts car he could and he had a two-door post that he had as a parts car. He gave that to me when I was seven, and I built that car, and I was a dumb kid, it was my first car, built it, sold it too cheap, and I love that car, but it was never a hard top, so I wasn't, you know, I still want it back because it's my first car, but it was never a hard top. And the prices on these things have fucking skyrocketed, so I never thought I'd get one. I'm starting to get choked up. <laughs> I hate when YouTubers get all personal and shit, but some of you guys, uh, I've known some of you guys for several years now. So anyways, um, this thing came up and it's exactly what I wanted because I hate stock cars. I don't really like restored cars, stock shit. I hate all that. So it looks stock-ish on the outside, but it's got Casey's Customs flair to it. Big nasty motor. It's laid down, whatever, four inches from stock. You know, better springs, better everything. It's just, it's fucking perfect. And I said in the last of one of my videos, I didn't know why this thing was making me so angry. And it's because I loved it so much and just wasn't cooperating. But God damn it, this was the best first drive I've remembered in a very long time. Because I was just smiling ear to ear the whole time. It's fixed actually running and driving it's not finished by any means there's still several things that need tweaked i think i'm gonna have to remake a header because the spark plug wire just keeps popping off so it's got a little shit like that but i mean considering the fact that we've literally taken it on like eight or nine first drives and none of them worked out i mean i am unbelievably happy the last video i made on this i think was two weeks ago i was 100 percent serious i would have blown it up if somebody if the video did good i know it wasn't going to do a million views for some reason the 57 chevy uh videos don't do as well as some of my other ones i knew it wouldn't do it but i swear to god i was down if we would have hit the goal i was way cool with it and uh i'm just so fucking happy i gotta put the i gotta put the other hubcaps on because i think the ones i had the little clips are just shit but i got some on ebay that look a lot better yeah almost started crying talking in the car about how this was my dream car and i got it i always wanted the 57 chevy two-door hardtop i always wanted my grandpa's i loved it but i hated the fact that his was restored and it was stock and it was slow you know me and him would go to car shows together and whatever hot rod i was driving would just kill him you know <laughs> just smoke him and uh so i wanted a hot rod version of it and that's really what this is big motor laid on the ground it's got the big white walls that i love just so fucking happy thank you very much for watching hopefully you'll get a kick out of us blowing up a little toy car i thought that was funny oh actually let me get it real quick check it out so it's firecrackers in it <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Oh, I forgot to add. Let me know what you want to see me work on next. This video should be going up on Tuesday. We got a ton of cool projects in the shop right now. We got the C10 Blazer conversion. We got the Model A. We got the Supernatural Impala. And we got the Training Day Monte Carlo. Let me know because I want to hear what you guys want to see. And we're going to start working on it next. I believe we're shooting for the Supernatural Impala on the next video. But it's up to you. Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not subscribed, please hit that button now. If you are subscribed, make sure you have your post notifications turned on. It's a little bell. When you click that bell, you'll get notified every single time I post a new video. For the coolest merchandise on the planet, go to caseyscustoms.com. We have some new designs coming up. Please like, share, comment, all that good shit they tell you to do at the end of videos, and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. I love you guys. I've been giving to you